Hey everybody, welcome back. Jordan here. Who's pumped up? I know this guy is, and I hope you are too, because the new LEGO Daily Bugle set is coming out today. Yes! It's so awesome. We've been waiting for so long for this day because it's official. It's a LEGO modular style skyscraper. It stands like over 80 centimeters tall, and it comes with 25 different Marvel spider-man minifigures oh my gosh that's so cool not spider-man minifigures but whatever marvel minifigures from the spider-verse and i am so excited to go get this set today i can hardly wait so of course today we're going to be going to the lego store to do some lego shopping and in particular we're going to be picking up the lego spider-man daily bugle because it's gonna be pretty sweet no 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 spider-man there's the Avengers Tower, and I think when we get this Daily Bugle, it's going to look great in the same vicinity as the custom LEGO Avengers Tower that we have here in the city. It's going to look great on what we call Pop Culture Street right here, where we got such sets as the Avengers Tower, the Sanctum Sanctorum, Peter Parker's Apartment, Diagon Alley, Ghostbusters HQ, along with a few more. You know what? The LEGO Group's never really given us a big, epic set in the Marvel lineup. Other than, I guess there's been a few Avengers Towers, there's been the large Helicarrier, and there's also been the UCS style Hulkbuster armor. But you know what? I am really excited because today we're going to be getting that Daily Bugle and it's going to look fantastic here in the city. So I cannot wait to head on out there, pick it up, and then also build it today during a live stream as well. That's going to be sweet. So here's the uh, Helicarrier. This is like the larger helicarrier they've done two different ones this one's the epic one that comes with the ucs style plaque get out of the way r2 like that there but i'm excited to get this set here today you know why because it comes with 25 minifigures that are just epic and that actually defeats the death star for the most amount of minifigures released in a single set all right, but I think that's enough yammering around here. Let's head on out to the Lego store to do some Lego shopping. Woohoo! Oh, my arm, the leg kick was up on that one too. That was awesome. And the arm. Yeah! <laughs> so we got here to West Hamilton Mall a bit early, of course. And I realized that my Lego mask is currently in the wash. Darn it! Let's whip out the uh, Darth Vader one. Not the end of the world, I don't think. But Starbucks is closed. I think Tim Hortons on the other end of the mall here is actually open. So I figured I'd walk on down and get my classic morning coffee here before we do some Lego shopping. This sounds like a good time to be. Here we go, we got our coffee there. Beauty. You know what, the shoe looks nice, but I think it's a tad too large. All right, everybody, we've arrived at the Lego store here in West Edmonton Mall. Beauty. They got the Daily Bugle on display in the front window. There she is right there. It looks amazing. Got the taxi cab, all 25 Marvel minifigures displayed on this beast of a building. Oh, I love the look of the Green Goblin bursting through the window there. It looks fantastic. When we get inside, we'll take a closer look at the built model and, of course, pick up ours brand new inbox looks like in this display cube here on the other side of the lego store we have assembly square and also the bookshop on display which of course sits on two 16 by 32 base plates and can be divided into two buildings and over here we have the 1989 bat wing and just around the corner from that is actually the 1989 batmobile which is just great I'm still thinking about this one here. This is the legendary Flower Fruit Mountain. Not sure if I'm gonna get that one or not. Definitely has some great elements that can be used in our Ninjago area. In addition to the Daily Bugle in the front window, we still have the Winnie the Pooh set, the Porsche Targa, and also Turbo. R2-D2, and apparently if you buy R2-D2 or spend those thresholds, they still have the promos available here at the West Edmonton Mall Lego store. That's the Tatooine Homestead and also the poly bag of the Imperial Shuttle. Then the Friends sitcom set, which is the Apartments. It's a fantastic set. Built that last week. Lots of Easter eggs and great minifigures in that set. And of course, my wife's favorite set, which won't be in stock here today. It is the Disney Castle. 
looks great. Comes with some iconic minifigures, including Tinkerbell. Where is she? I don't see her there. She must be inside the scenes on the back side. It's a great set, though. In this front window here, we still have the magnificent space display. NASA Apollo 11 lunar lander, and of course, the space shuttle Discovery. And over here, the International Space Station. I just love these podiums so much. They look fantastic. So after all my horsing around here, getting coffees, filming videos, doing TikToks, Instagram posts, and stuff like that, turns out I'm 10th in line. So I hope that doesn't uh, turn around and sting me, but you know what? I'm pretty confident that we're gonna be able to get ourselves the Daily Bugle today. It's gonna be sweet. It's time. Looks like they actually have them in multiple spots here in the store. But I'm gonna go over here in the Marvel DC section where we have the new Daily Bugle right beside the Avengers Tower and the helmets. Pretty sweet. There's a few of them on the shelf here and they were on like a pod over there and on another spot on the shelf over there as well. So pretty well stocked here at the Lego store. Apparently they got like 30 of them. Let's check out this beauty right here. So here it is in all its glory. We got the Lego Marvel Daily Bugle with the 25 minifigures on the top of the box here. Holy cow. So many great minifigures that just look absolutely fantastic. 18 plus style packaging, of course. We've got all those minifigures posed on the building here. And on the bottom, we have our specifications. 18 plus 76178 is the set number, 3,772 pieces. Looks great. Let's have a look at the back here. Of course, we have the back of the building. That makes sense, doesn't it? Also, it shows how it is modular and all the different sections come apart. Especially on the base here, we've got the back side of the taxi cab there. Got a little action scene with the Punisher and also Carnage. Also, you can see the size of the building here. 25 centimeters or 9.8 inches wide, 82 centimeters or 32 inches tall. And then we've got some of the scenes here on the right side. And all sorts of action happening on the back side of the building here, including the little Miles Morales sticker there. Tag. Fantastic. Let's have a look at the model in the front display cabinet. So here's the back side of the display right here. You can see all the different minifigs. Love that graphic there. 25 minifigures. Stop the presses. Get the scoop. Got some more stickers on the front of our display here. VIP early access, 26th to the 31st of May. This is the new Spider-Man set, of course. I love the way that the green goblin just burst in through the window there. It looks fantastic. I like the red highlight of the staircase going down the side there. And also the nice decals that uh, represent the different TV screens out front of the Daily Bugle. Just so many great minifigure poses and everything here. It looks great. And that taxi cab is actually a really nice build as well. And of course on the back side we've got all sorts of sweet minifigures, trash cans, uh, just different building techniques to represent different things and it looks just great. Oh yeah, right up here looking for a Venom. Pretty cool. Let's go pick ours up. Actually, you know what? On my way to the checkout, I just figured I may as well get this as well today. I'm redeeming $85 for the VIP points, but this is just gonna pair up beautifully with those there. So we've got uh, the different minifigures. You've got uh, the Venomized Spider Pig, Spider-Man, Venomized Iron Man, and also Venom there in his little vehicle. Those minifigures are pretty sweet and are gonna pair up beautifully with the Daily Bugle. So there we go, we got it in the bag with our little minifig accessory pack there. Look at the side profile of the building there, that's pretty sweet. Also over here in the LEGO Creator Expert 18 plus area, we've got more of them on display right up here beside the police station and also the assembly square and corner garage. Pretty well stocked and check this out. I've seen lots of flower bouquets but I've never seen this, actually I've seen it twice. This is the bonsai tree. I saw it on opening day and then I saw it, I don't know, a while back. Also we got the new friend set here as well, the apartments. And I'd imagine they have central perk here as well. They should put those side by side relatively, I, I would think, but there it is there. Also more bonsai trees, so they seem to be really well stocked here at the Lego store, especially in the best department. Which is right here. I think the New World map set should have had a little bit of this going on. 
should have been a little bit 3D at least. I think that would have been a nice touch and sort of would have made it different from the other art sets, you know? Like this just looks so good. It's unfortunate that they didn't do that with the new world maps. So it's definitely a really busy day in there today and there's a pretty big lineup out front of the store. So I, I wanted to be as quick as possible getting sort of in and out with the Daily Bugle purchase just because, you know, people are looking at me filming in the store and stuff. So, and they're waiting in line, right? So I've got to be sort of respectful of that and get in and out as soon as, or as quickly as possible. They did mention to me that there might be some changes uh, in regards to filming in the store. And that's sort of unfortunate, but apparently a lot of YouTubers and a lot of vloggers are now trying to film in the store. <laughs> Which, you know, I may or may not have started, um, but they say, you know, you're not supposed to have people in your videos and stuff. And I always do my best to try and make sure that people aren't in the background of my videos, but could there be changes to this style of video coming out in the near future? Possibly which is truly unfortunate. I do like bringing you guys to the Lego store and showing you what's there and, and sort of showing you what's going down and the changes to the display and showing you the new sets and sort of taking you to the Lego store if you're not, if you don't have access to going to one, you know? So I, I sort of like doing it for that reason. And I think a lot of people like watching these videos and I enjoy making them because it's just a blast and going in there and just sort of having a good time and meeting all the different people is a lot of fun as well. So it's sort of unfortunate if that's gonna to come to an end. I, I don't know if it is, uh, I hope not. You know, like I think it, it definitely creates a lot of traction for the Lego group. And I think that, you know, me going through the store here and showing the store and showing what's in stock and, and showing all the new sets off truly does do a lot for the community, for people who wanna see the store, who can only shop online because there's no stores around them. And also it does a great thing for the Lego group, obviously, because it shows their stores off, right? And sort of creates public awareness in the Lego brand. But I don't know what's gonna happen with that. I guess we'll find out within the next couple of weeks here. And I think the, the store manager is gonna contact me in regards to that. But I do always do my best to make sure that nobody's in the background of my shots and be respectful of long lines and try and get out of there as quickly as possible when there is long lines. So I try to play by the rules, but there might be some more rules and restrictions on what we have to do moving forward which is to be expected, I guess. Well, that's really about it for today, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this little vlog video of us shopping here at the Lego store, picking up the new Daily Bugle set. I know I can't wait to get home and build this thing. It's gonna be fantastic. Let me know what you think by commenting below. Remember to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for some more Lego videos coming out in the near future. Bye for now.